Wake turbulence occurs when an aircraft generates lift, creating two trailing vortices. All aircraft, including helicopters, generate wake turbulence. In controlled airspace, Air Traffic Control, ATC, and pilots have a shared responsibility to avoid wake turbulence. To reduce the risks of wake turbulence when taking off behind a larger aircraft, identify where the larger aircraft lifted off. Visualize how its wake vortices will move based on wind conditions. Take off before the aircraft's rotation point or where its vortices are likely to form. If crossing departure tracks, watch for aircraft upwind of your runway and avoid crossing below another aircraft's flight path. When landing after a larger aircraft has taken off, land before its rotation point. When landing on a crossing runway, liaise with ATC to coordinate at least three minutes of separation at the intersection. Hovering helicopters produce strong downwash, generating high wind speeds up to three rotor diameters away. Avoid flying or taxiing in this area to reduce risk. If you encounter severe wake turbulence, follow the procedure in your aircraft flight manual, use control inputs carefully, and avoid excessive rudder use. For more guidance, refer to CASA's Visual Flight Rules Guide and Advisory Circular 9116. Your safety is in your hands. Visit the Pilot Safety Hub on the CASA website.